After much discussion and speculation, Samsung recently unveiled the Galaxy S23 FE. Surprisingly, this budget-friendly yet high-quality phone is equipped with older chips, either the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 or the Exynos 2200, depending on your region. The Exynos 2200, previously used in the Galaxy S22 series in Europe, has been put to the test to see how it performs in the new Galaxy S23 FE. Despite not being the latest chip, tests conducted by Rontech indicate that the Exynos 2200 chip in the Galaxy S23 FE outperforms the one in the Galaxy S22 series. In DeepBench 6.2, the Galaxy S23 FE achieves a single-core score of 1612 and a multi-core score of 405. In comparison, the Galaxy S22 Ultra, which also features the Exynos 2200 chip, scored 1269 in single-core and 3784 in multi-core tests. This results in roughly a 15% increase in performance for both single-core and multi-core scenarios when comparing the two versions of the Exynos 2200. Comparing these results to the Galaxy S22 series, once again, shows improvements. Antutu's leaderboard reveals that the Galaxy S22 Ultra had a CPU score of 300 and 5,069 and a GPU score of 312,000. However, the Exynos 2200 chip in the Galaxy S23 FE still faces challenges when it comes to maintaining high performance under heavy usage as it tends to reduce its performance by about 25% in stress tests. In comparison, tests conducted by Android Authority show that the Galaxy S22 Ultra experienced a more significant reduction of over 30% in both CPU and GPU tests. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section. That's all for today. What are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comment section. See you in the next video. Peace out.